Hi, I'm Becky from Hey You Guys! And today we're going to give you our top 10 favourite Disney Easter eggs ever! Coming in at number 10, we have Toy Story 3's Lotso's appearance in Up. Hey Mr. Fredrickson! As the balloons are released and Mr. Fredrickson's house starts floating up towards the sky, we see shots from different windows as the balloons float past. And in one of those windows, if you look closely, you can see a flash of Lotso playing in the child's room. I know, right? <laughs> in at number nine, we have the multiple appearances of Nemo. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. As well as his own film and Finding Dory. We've also spotted Nemo in Brother Bear. And Monster Z. Well, that's very nice. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for him swimming in a film near you. In at number eight, Tarzan's tea set. So this is quite a familiar one, but it's definitely one of our favorites. In Tarzan, Turk and some of the other gorillas wander into the camp set up by Jane and the other explorers and start drumming out a rhythm on everything they can find. One of the things is a very familiar looking tea set which some people might remember from Beauty and the Beast. As you can definitely see, Mrs. Potts and Chip. <laughs> in at number seven, we have the tombstones in Mulan. During the song Reflections, we see a shot of all of the tombstones of Mulan's ancestors. However, the names actually written on the tombstones are the names of the animators who worked on the film in ancient Chinese. In at number six, we have the Hunchback of Notre Dame Easter egg, Triple Whammy. During the song Out There in the Hunchback of Notre Dame, the shot cuts to a scene of a square where you can clearly see Belle from the Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin's magic carpet, and Pumbaa from the Lion King. When I was a young warthog. When he was a young warthog. <laughs> in at number five, Scar's unfortunate appearance in Hercules. Now in The Lion King, Zazu makes a joke about how Scar would make a very handsome rug. He'd make a very handsome throw rug, Zazu. In Hercules, we see Zazu's prediction come true, as at the end of the song Zero to Hero, we see Hercules posing with Scar as a rug around him. Unfortunate. In at number four, we have Mr. Incredible's appearance in Finding Nemo. In the waiting room at the dentist's in Finding Nemo, you can see a boy sitting and reading a comic book with Mr. Incredible emblazoned on the cover, preempting The Incredibles, which came out the next year. <laughs> in at number three, we have the bootleg movies shown in Zootopia slash Zootropolis. Judy and Nick hunt down Duke Weaselton whilst he is selling bootleg movies off a table down an alley. The movies are all puns on the names of Disney movies, some already passed and still yet to come. They're names such as Pig Hero 6, Wrangled, Wreck-It Rhino, Meowana, Floatsome 2 and Jurassic, which is a pun on the name Gigantic, yet to come. In at number two, Hans Christoph Anna Sven. Hans Christoph Anna Sven. Hans Christoph Anna Sven. What does it mean? <laughs> what could it mean? Disney's Frozen is based off The Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen. And some of the main characters in Frozen are named after the original author, Hans Christoph Anna Sven. Hans Christoph Anna Sven. Hans Christoph Anna Sven. Mind blown. <laughs> in at number one, my personal favorite, Baymax in Moana. Now, we at Hey You Guys got to go to a very early footage screening of Moana and Hey You Guys, me, spotted an Easter egg during that screening. Following that footage screening, during an interview with the producer, she told us that we were the first people outside of Disney to have spotted that Easter egg. <laughs> Claim to fame! What's the Easter egg, Becky? Get <laughs> During the attack by the Kokomura, the little coconut pirates in Moana, the Kokomura all have their faces painted with scary tribal paintings, but in a big shot of hundreds of them, one of them has Baymax painted on its face. And I spotted it. <laughs> no one else saw it. <laughs> I did. Move on, move on. <laughs> Enough about me being awesome. That concludes our top 10 most favorite Disney Easter eggs ever. Thank you for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe below and you can follow us on all the usual channels. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys.